Welcome back to Romany Pirates. Um, you join us on the way to the boat. We've just been up, picked some more supplies up, so that's been another 40 quid. Um, and if you're new to the channel, we travel around in our camper van. We've got a barge that we're trying to turn into a pirate ship. The ultimate word being trying and we keep getting stuck with the rain over and over again so we've decided because partly because of the rain and partly because Reese has just decided that he's sick of DIY and hates it anyway that we're going to sack it all off we're going to take off for the night and we're just going to go and get away into nature Reese needs to go wild swimming despite the fact that it's absolutely silent it down <laughs> he wants to go in more water so we're going to take off and just let's see where we end up let's just go for an adventure Kimma says we've dropped the wood off at the boat so that's done and um, we've picked up some supplies uh, for food especially for Daisy because she keeps, she keeps whinging that she's hungry um, and we're just going to hit the road basically uh, for a couple of days mainly because my head's just like absolutely fried with all the boat building and stuff um, and yeah so I just need the mountains and the lakes and some wild swimming and just to re-energise and yeah and hopefully then be able to go back to the boat and do a better job you look I'm absolutely doing. drenched i am drenched i am drenched <laughs> i don't even know why this is still on my head uh, it's it's raining as always which we've just got used to now um but no i i just need to i just need to get away on the road like i just need to travel i've been too long on the boat oh this is driving me absolutely crazy it really is driving me mad there's just there's no i've got full signal but there's no signal i can't get the i don't think it's the park for night app that's not working or what it is but before we used to have a proper sat nav and it was so much easier because you could find places and now when you're using your phones you're just relying all the time on them finding signal it's driving me absolutely bonkers i've literally i've now tethered to my other phone sat here like well i don't know what with a load of phones in my hand and nothing is actually working it's just oh it's driving me absolutely crazy honestly so we're trying to find a place to uh, to stay for the night. <laughs> it's not that easy, oh, is it? Oh, it's driving me yeah, mad. Like, Emma's going mad. Emma's going mad. So we're um, yeah, we're just we're struggling. Like like in the place that we are, we're just we're really struggling uh, to find anywhere to park for the night. Uh, we've checked a couple of places out, a couple of spots. Um, this is this is another kind of one of those realities of uh, of van life. Uh, <laughs> moments where you're just like, oh, can't find anywhere. I'm getting hungry. Emma's hungry. Daisy's is definitely hungry. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and figure this out and see if we can find a place for the night. We need signal. Um, so if anybody has any ideas um, of the best kind of like signal boosters that you can get for your mobile phones, so that you can get a better signal, I'd really appreciate it. Cause it's a, it, this is just an absolute nightmare, an absolute it's a pain, and it's a frequent pain as well when you're on the road and you need to be getting like 4G. And since they've put these 5G towers up, how come the signal is worse? Like it's worse everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are, <laughs> since you've got 5G towers where we're all meant to have signal in the remotest of areas, there is literally worse signal than there's ever been. It were better on 3G. We finally managed to find a park up. Um, I honestly, excuse the state of me because I wasn't expecting to just go be working on the boat. So, like, my hair's on top of my head, I've got no makeup on, I look a right state, but we just we just thought sack it off and let's just take off um but it's been a bit of a sort of trauma and an annoyance like getting out on road um so because we've just been working constantly on the boat like it's been non-stop and we have made some really good progress um and we will obviously show you that and catch you up with that but we just needed to just get away and just down tools for a little bit because it is constant at the moment so i'm going to get some tea on we found a lovely little park up it seems all right um and you know it's 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 not got the most scenic views but it seems all right um so we're just going to sort of set up we're going to get some tea i don't know have a cup of coffee i haven't had a coffee today like i'm desperate for a coffee so we're going to get some coffee and um, we're going to settle down for the night um and then hopefully take you off on some adventures over the next few days so what we're having uh, for tea is some sausages and mash sausage mash cauliflower cheese and um, obviously meat free sausages um, and it's just kind of really cheating today because I just 
can't be bothered so i've just been and picked up all that like microwave stuff and then tip it into a pan and warm it up it does the same thing doesn't it so it's a bit cheating isn't it really it's all like processed rubbish but comfort food isn't it and then i've got a chocolate clare finish <laughs> So little Daisy's just decided to bite my foot. <laughs> I put my leg out like that so that Emma could get past because my legs were out. So I put my legs at the side and Daisy just decided to bite my toe. <laughs> so she's now in a bed eating a carrot. She loves carrots. So she's, uh, she's tucking into a carrot completely oblivious to the fact that my foot's sore. She should be getting punished, but instead I've just rewarded her by giving her a carrot. <laughs> So I've got a lovely cup of hot chocolate, just about to get into bed um, and get ready for tomorrow, get an early night because we've got a really big day planned tomorrow. So we're just about to go to bed, I've just finished my hot chocolate, I can't wait for tomorrow so that we're going to the Peak District and the Peak District is said to be home to two legends, um, to two mermaids, so find out where this is and what happens if you bathe in the waters and what happens if the mermaid doesn't like you, this is going to be epic. So good morning everybody. Morning. I look like absolute rubbish this morning. You do. I do. I do. I do look like rubbish. I'm aware I look like rubbish. I haven't put my makeup on, which is partly why. But I don't normally look this tired and this bad when I haven't put my makeup on. Um, we had hardly any sleep last night, did we? We didn't get hardly any sleep. Um, and the, uh, we apologise if the audio is not too good. Um, we damaged um the audio the. Mic thing on the camera um last night in the process of what went on last night so we weren't gonna say anything about it we weren't gonna show you because last night something happened and we grabbed the camera and we weren't gonna show you because we didn't want to make like a massive deal out of it because we don't want to put people off like um van life and stuff like that yeah this if you've watched us like previously you'll know that we go on and on about saying that this has never happened to us and and uh, and that everything's okay all the time and it was well, in retrospect it, it in was. retrospect it wasn't a in massive reflection. big deal right but basically we had an incident that happened last night we'd grabbed the camera we then didn't get much sleep i then ended up knocking the camera as well like on the floor and just ended up like wrecking the microphone which we've been trying to fix all morning so we're gonna have to buy a new one um so we're gonna show you anyway take a look we'll show you what happened and then we'll come back and talk about it <laughs> there's been there's been some noises outside we've heard like a lot of people pulling up um, and we've already heard quite a bit of like banging around and stuff going on outside we don't know what it is we don't know what's happening i said to Reese to like go and check and see and he's had a look out we can see quite a few people it's quite a few cars i don't i don't want to get outside So we've driven about what 30 minutes yeah about 30 minutes down the road we found another path it's shaking um poor daisy she's still she's literally shaking so they basically basically um a lot of people ran off laughing um and we heard them we heard them drive off um i've had a look at the van uh can't see any damage to the van but obviously it's dark it's night time uh, it's the middle of the night so they were just um, like a loud bang so basically like a real loud bang <laughs> It was right next to my head, so I didn't know what it was. Um, so I apologise for my language, um, but it was just it it was just this really loud noise, and then like we said, we just heard like a lot of laughing. Um, it seems like it were probably like you know young lads or something like that. I don't know, but they're obviously old enough to drive because they were in cars. As soon as we knew it had sort of gone quiet, we've just obviously got straight in van. We've driven off. Um, we've made sure nobody's following us. Um, we've come to a place that's on park for night. Um, yeah, it's it's because um, we didn't pick the last place from park for night, did we? No, we, we just, just pulled park, up. We just pulled up. We didn't even know where we were um, really. And we um, do do that sometimes. You know, we've done that regularly. We do do it sometimes. 
um we just kind of i think of, i think know... i think it, it, it from what for what it sound from what it sounded like i think it were just young lads you know like i said old enough to drive but should have known better really um you know, we have never just... had any problems the, pro the problem is i think they, they, they think it's funny and it's not funny it's it's really frightened you know it's fr i was trying to keep calm to keep emma calm to reassure her but it it was frightening with that really frightening it's frightened daisy you know yeah, we, we, we you know we, anyway i just want to go to bed now i just want to go to bed we'll 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 come back. We'll talk to you in the morning. But I just want to go to bed now. I'm really exhausted. Yeah, let's go to bed. Um, and I've had enough. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna get Daisy, get her settled down, um, and just make sure that she's all right. Okay. So <laughs> that was last night. Fun night. Wasn't that was eventful, wasn't it? Yeah, and it's it's. <laughs> can I just say, like, on on reflection, it was it was really frightening, wasn't it? But but yeah, you know, what I don't want because we weren't sure whether to share this, and I said I don't want to put people off like van life or if you're new to this please don't let this frighten you we've been doing it like 11 years yeah now. and we've never had any and we've trouble. never ever ever had that like you and know. it can happen it's like you know you can end up in life where sometimes one person does something and you judge everybody else based on that one thing that somebody's done and that's not that's ridiculous because we've had 11 years of never Nothing. having any <laughs> problems been on the road you know so many like you know weeks months never had any issues and we weren't even going to put it in but i i was saying to reese that is a true reflection yeah, it's the reality, of how we isn't felt it? Yeah. you know at that moment that is how we felt we were quite scared we'd got the camera out in order because i thought if anything goes wrong we, we're filming it do you know and we, we've got some proof if something happens so that's why i'd got the camera out um and you know obviously like you know we share every moment of our lives with you so you know as much yeah, as we possibly can so we were just carrying on it's like natural to us you know to do that so but it, it, i wasn't going to put it on like we said but i just thought it's a true reflection of how we felt it felt rubbish at the time got up this morning now we've not had very much sleep we are really tired but it, in in hindsight like it, we would have been better off sort of maybe checking out where we were pulling up a little bit more we were we were in a bit of a rush to just get her back into nature just get away we were fed up you know and you can be parked in the nicest of places and something can happen you can be parked in the roughest of places and nothing happens so you know basically don't don't let it put you off but it, it was just some of that happened wasn't it it were you know and and in reflection it's just kids do you know, so we've had a look. We've 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 had a look at the van in the daylight now in this beautiful park up that we've got. By the way, it's really nice. Um, and what it appears that they've done is they've thrown an egg at the van. So yeah. they've obviously, you know, they obviously get people parking up there regularly. Otherwise, I'm presuming they wouldn't have had eggs on them. Um, so they've obviously yeah, just done it because I thought, like, like I said last night, they've done it because they've thought it's funny. You know, yeah. and it's it's a laugh in it to them. You know, and and it's not to us because this is our home, yeah. and it's like somebody coming. Round you feel our you home. feel you feel attacked like somebody's attacking your home at that point and it's like what do you do um so please people out there if you're watching this and you've ever done out like that yeah. don't do it because it's not stop nice it. yeah stop it it's not nice but um yeah so it's just it's just an egg on the side of the van it's not the end of the world it, uh, you know it's it's dried on not very nice so um overnight so um you know i'm gonna go out and give that a scrub um and get it all off um but i wanted to a brew before i start doing that um so we're gonna get out there and give it a scrub off and then it'll be good as new and then there's no worries so um you know yeah let's go and have a really good day we're gonna enjoy our day it's just one of them things that happens and we're gonna go find some mermaids yeah see if we can check out this, this mermaid <laughs> Walking up this uh, little path now towards the mermaid's pool. I just wanted to give a shout out to Glenn as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. One of our subscribers. So when we got come back from the festival uh, the other week, um, we were sort of around the Glastonbury area, and uh, and and Glenn came up to us and says, oh, "I hope you don't mind. I'm one of your subscribers, didn't we?" Yeah, came up and said hello. So thank you for coming up and saying hello. Not everybody does, so that's really nice. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. It was well, lovely to meet you, Glenn. Yeah, and uh, and your lovely uh, lovely lady. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, oh, nice. So we've just got um, got to go up here and um, wait until you guys see this. It absolutely looks epic on the photographs. So I'm hoping it's uh, it's as good in in real life. 
I stand amongst these giants with their strong branches stretching to the heavens. I wonder what tales they could tell me, what wonders and horrors they have behold. They don't speak but whisper, with history written in their bark that runs through their every circle to their core. Like magnificent beasts they tower over fields of green and rivers and villages, from lush green to fire reds and oranges, then to bare snowdrip branches. These magnificent, elegantly imposing wonders of the world change their appearance with every passing season through decades and centuries. I bend to their strength, their ability to adapt to the changes that befall them. I hail to their grounding, their roots that stretch beyond comprehension to the depths below. I aspire to their calm, their gentle sway and whisper as chaos befalls them. Then sadly I weep at their demise, as the unforgiving in their thousands slash through their bark, breaking their branches and crashing this wise mother nature to the earth. The centuries of history they observed are no longer there to behold, a story that will never again be told. Yet selflessly they continue to provide me with life, to give me breath and forsake my demise. So we are completely and utterly lost as always. We think it's this way, but we're not quite sure as always. Um, so we're just gonna keep walking down this path until we see some water basically. Uh, and hopefully we can find it. I'll be absolutely gutted if we can't, um, but hopefully we can, fingers crossed. The Peak District is said to be home to two mermaids one of which is in the mermaid's pool um, and apparently if you come at Easter time and you actually manage to make eye contact with the mermaid and you bathe in her water she'll give you eternal life if she doesn't like it apparently you're doomed to your death so <laughs> goodness knows um, and then there is another mermaid that is meant to have met a man and um, fallen in love with him um, and then something went wrong in it all um, and she basically sort of um, doomed him to death um, and so apparently if you go in the other pool, which I can't remember what they call it, but it's just right next to the mermaid pool, um, apparently then you are basically definitely doomed to death. So either way, there's kind of maybe a 30% chance you might end up with eternal life and a 60% chance thereabouts that you might die. <laughs> so we've come this far, we've been just walking around in circles for over an hour now, um, and we've just been told that the mermaid pool is essentially over that way, that down there, which it's over a mountain, and I'll show you in a second. Um, and there's just no way me, Emma, or Daisy can get there, basically. Um, apparently it's like a two hour hike from here and it's quite difficult, too difficult terrain. So I'm absolutely gutted, Daisy's gutted. Um, look gutted, Daisy. Um, and yeah, so we can't do it. I'm gutted. Emma's not so gutted because Emma just wants a coffee and a cake and didn't do much walking. Oh no, you said no cake. No, there's no cake. <laughs> there's no cake. You said no. <laughs> Please let me you said no to cake. No to cake. But I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. It's breathtaking views. So we thought we'd found it, but what you can see is actually just a reservoir. Um, and the mermaid pool is over that particular mountain there, apparently. And um, we now know what a mountain actually is, thanks to one of our um, subscribers, don't we? We do. So apparently the difference between a mountain and a hill is that if it's over a thousand feet, it is scientifically classed as a mountain. Anything under that is a hill. I were gutted because I lost the uh, argument. And yeah, I were right because that were well over a thousand feet, that one. That was a few episodes back, that one. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember now. Um, but yeah, back. so that's, the, it, that's <laughs> a little interesting fact for you. Um, I'm just going to get some B-roll and show you these absolutely breathtaking epic views. Um, as I say, I've never really tried the Peak District, have we? No, but... and it is, it, honestly, it's so magical. This is not a place we've ever really bothered coming before, but it's really uplifted us today, walking through these, like, enchanted little like, ah, alleyways amazing. with trees growing over the top. There's the smell of, like, the moss and the grass, and, you know, there's that kind of mystical feeling to it, and there's all the kind of mist over the mountains and stuff. It's just beautiful. It and it's gorgeous. really cheered us up after last night. Yeah, we needed episode, it. Hadn't we it? needed so, it. And yeah. I, I feel like I've got back to nature now, so even though I didn't get to swim in the mermaid pool with the mermaid which were unfortunate but hey there you go take a look at this
this is just beautiful it's exactly what we both needed i think as i said especially after last night and this is just enchanting it's like the mist is coming over the mountains there's a slight drizzle in the air of just a fine rain but it's not unpleasant the temperature's perfect because it's not too hot it's it's just nice it's just lovely just to get out and reconnect to nature you just can't beat it at all um and there's just these beautiful like little pathways leading off to other pathways and it really does feel like just an enchanted forest with the mountains in the background it's just such a shame that we couldn't go to the uh, to the mermaid's pool um it's uh, i'm absolutely gutted if i'm honest these here just found a frog She's pulling like mad, she's trying to get to it. Where is it? It's in there. No. It's there next to the oh there. Look. <laughs> she's never seen a frog before. Look. <laughs> So Daisy's found a new friend. She's not growling, so it means she just wants to play her tails wagging like crazy. She's never seen a frog, so she's just like, oh, what's that? Um, so obviously we're not letting her anywhere near it, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's really cute. On, I like frogs. Frog. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> from us from the enchanting beautiful area of the peak district join us next week and we'll update you on the boat we've made some real progress and hopefully make some more over the next week or so now we're feeling a bit energized again aren't yeah we? back to nature so uh, thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe that means a lot to us uh, and we'll see you next week at 8 p.m on monday and don't forget to write your own story no matter what trials and tribulations you're facing see, see you, you next week, week.